actually this is my third shot at filming this video because the light keeps going <laughs> just keeps completely disappearing I think I'm living at quite a weird angle so let's just try again and see if it works this time I'm trying really hard not to do like weird facial expressions because I'm not very natural at talking to a camera so like I'm staring at the camera and I'm realizing like oh my god so please ignore that and please take in note that I don't know what I'm doing but yeah so let's begin see how did it again I did it again new start let's begin okay so the first book that I'm gonna look at is by Daniel Gregory and it's just a book that inspires you to want to draw and it's quite a fun book it's definitely just a book to enjoy the visuals and his story but it does definitely get you wanting to create and realizing the value of drawing and creating and keeping a sketchbook because I like sketchbooks and on the note of sketchbook I will focus on I'm going to show you the two sketchbook books that I have here the first being typography which is this one and this one's really good because it's quite it's very visual. Like, I keep this on my side table just because it's a nice book to look at in the morning and it's in... Yeah, I literally do. I wake up and I just have a look for it. I just like having it there. And it's quite a nice book when people come in as well to like, have a look at. And even if they don't like type, it's it's such a nice visual... Or even if they don't know they like type, it's a nice visual book to get you... To get you thinking. And it's just a beautiful book. And it also includes a little bit, I think it does, yeah, a little bit about the type designer and how they keep sketchbooks and what they use their sketchbooks for and it's another book that kind of inspires you to keep a sketchbook and keep doing things on the go and the third sketchbook related one that I have is this one which is Sketchbooks, The Hidden Art of Designers, Illustrators and Creatives and this is another really visual book but the thing I like about this one is that each page also like a big chunk about the illustrator or designer so it's quite cool and they kind of talk about their their art or their work or how like they're studied or how when they studied and kind of where they got to and how they got to where they are but then they also talk about sketchbooks and how they use sketchbooks and how that's important for them so i really like this book and has it really got me well, quite a few this book actually made me notice a few people and now i'm kind of obsessed with them so it's a good book for that as well inspiration but i just love it i think it's a really well put together book and it's a nice book just to keep as well, which is, you know, uh, it, it brings me a lot of books, make me quite, I like having books, I like keeping books, I know, I know you can go on Pinterest and I do, but it's nice having books that you can hold and have and just a few kind of inspiration that isn't on a screen, because I work on a screen, pretty much 90% of my work is on a screen and staring at a screen all day is quite, you know, it does get to you a bit, so that's why I think having books and having a physical source of inspiration is good. Okay, so the next book, um, which one should I go for? Let's go for another typography one, and that is going to be Just My Type. <laughs> this book is brilliant, even though it is a little bit geeky. Like, I think you have to like type quite a bit to want to read this book, because it's not a short book, and it is mostly text, and it is on the history of type. However, it's fun and if you do have that like little in that interest or that little kind of twinge of interest about type I would definitely read this book because it's, it's an enjoy it is enjoyable I can't really explain it unless you, you read it like yeah, I just open it and you can see the um, periodic table of typefaces so yeah you do have to be a little bit geeky to enjoy this one but what can I say if you are have a look at it um, the next book I'm quickly going to show you is Work for Money, Design for Love. This is a really good book, which even though this is more of an information book, I guess, however, it does make it, it is written in a way which is quite enjoyable. And I think more than that, it is a helpful book. Like it goes through the business side of it, the, the money side of it kind of presentation, clients, dealing with clients, problems you might have with clients and it's just a book that is going to be helpful so but yeah it's helpful I think if you want to get into graphic design or to be fair maybe even advertising or something slightly creative and you want to run a business 
Well, you don't have to, but if you want to know how a business is run, or if you want to run your own business, I'd definitely pick this up and have a look at it, because it, it's very good at feeding you the information in a good way. And another book which is good at feeding you information in a way which is um, slightly more humorous and enjoyable is How to Be a Graphic Designer Without Losing Your Soul. Because that's what we all want. What am I saying? It is what we all want. Because sometimes, if, especially if you're doing something with text, I find, because I do illustration as well, like, quite visual, and then like, text layout over and over, it can kind of drive you a little bit insane. Especially when you're doing it for someone like proper and you're just laying out text and it's quite like, like it can, yeah. It's nice to kind of get that source of inspiration back, which is what this book is quite good for. And this book goes through, again, similar to this one, it has all the vital information that you need. But it's written in a kind of different way. I mean, I'd say this one is more about the business side of it, and this one is more about the actual fundamentals. Fundament, I think, of graphic design. So this one is it goes through like the professional skills, but it also goes through like, um, I don't know, like again, like kind of promotional tools. I guess it can be a bit. Yeah, it's just a good. I thought I did anyway. Maybe I'm thinking of a different. Yeah, it talks about kind of graphic design, finding a job, um, clients, what is it like, and it also talks about, like, yeah, it has interviews with people as well. So it, I'm trying to think, I think I might have been thinking of a slightly different, just looking at my bookshelf. But, yeah, one more, which I haven't actually got a moustache, but I'm just going to grab, is a, which one is it? The onions one, because I just remembered one. I just remembered this one that I would completely forgotten about, but it's actually brilliant. <laughs> and this is Know Your Onions. This is the fun. This is the one I was thinking of. Like this book is great. Get this one as well, or like have a look at this one because it's it's quite. I think this is quite a, actually a quite a popular one. This one seems a little bit less popular, but this is a brilliant book. It's um, Know Your Onions graphic design, but this does go through the fundamentals, and I think well. Yeah, I would say if you're just starting out, this is a book to get because kind of it does it goes through everything um, and it goes through like even just your thought process and how to think about briefs and setting up and typography and it goes through like the little bits of type and how you know make them readable and how how to approach different parts and then it also teaches you about like printing and everything but it teaches you in quite I don't know if I can show it quite a visual way like there's a lot of imagery and it's it's said in like quite uh, uh, I'm just going to read a title because I can't explain this very well but twiddly little things um you know dashes and slashes it's that's not actually that funny but it's said in like kind of a humorous light-hearted tone which makes it quite enjoyable to read I can't believe I forgot about this one actually because I find this book really helpful especially if you just kind of dabbling or just starting out and you kind of want to know the little bit and you want to know, enjoy it and yeah, I like this one. I don't know why I forgot about it. This is actually one of my favourites. But yeah, those were my top, didn't count, my stash of graphics books and illustration and design books that get me inspired and kind of bring me up when I'm feeling a little bit low about it all or kind of not in the mood and these kind of inspire me and yeah. These books are really, um, yeah, they're inspirational books that are enjoyable to read and will hopefully help you out and allow you to learn it in a slightly more enjoyable way than maybe some lectures are. But, yeah. so, hope you enjoyed. Hope that was helpful. Hope that wasn't, I know this is kind of awkward. I'm not really sure what I'm doing. But, yeah, hope it was okay. Goodbye.